In this video, we are continuing the C-Sharp tutorial series and today's topic is interface in C-Sharp. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then hit that subscribe button also. If you don't know me, hey there everyone, I am Ravindra Devrani. So let's get started without any delay. So first of all, what is interface? Interfaces are the blueprint for the class. So let's understand this term with some practical examples. So let's create interface here, interf public interface and let's name is i category prop sorry public bool add and display public add bool and public void display so inside an interface we cannot define the methods like we cannot do this we cannot define the body of any method okay it is not allowed inside interface we can only declare the methods So it is our interface and you cannot create instance of interface. So you cannot do that. I category OBJ equals to I category. You cannot do that. So interfaces are the blueprint for your class. For that you have to create a class. So our class will be like this public class category and it will inherit that interface i category when we have inherited this interface then it is must to define these methods which is add and display here so we must define add and display methods here because of a strict contract so like this we can define our methods so click here quick actions and refactoring implement interface and it will automatically implement your interfaces here so let's define here some random functionality like this console dot right, right line and added and it will return true console dot right line displaying categories something like that okay and but we can create our own methods inside this class like we can create a different method from the interface so like we can create here public void print just right here console dot right line printing so we can do that so let's see how we can use interface here so for that we have to use like this interface i category category equals to new category so in the left side we have to define the name of interface and in the right side we have to define the name of class which is inheriting or implementing that interface so here category dot display category dot add category dot print actually we cannot use this print method because it is not defined here if we write that 
it will throw an error because this method doesn't exist in this interface because here we are maintaining the strict contract and we are kind of instantiating this interface kind of not actually instantiating so right now we cannot use this print method because we haven't defined it here so to use this we must have defined its declaration here so we must write public void print so now we are fine we can use this print method so let's run this program okay so move back here interfaces interfaces are very useful very interfaces are very useful when we are writing test cases when you will write test cases in your actual code and when you are doing unit testing there then it is easy because you can easily create the mocks of the interfaces so that's why interfaces are very useful in a bigger project when you are also doing unit testing it's not only the benefit but it is one of the benefit of interface that's what i found very helpful in the real life projects other benefits can be like you can implement multiple interfaces but you cannot do it with the classes like if we write here public class a and public void display a or just display and if we create another class public class b and that have the same method display and let's try to inherit a okay so what it is saying base a must come before an interface okay fine so we can do it yes but if i do it then what it is saying category cannot have multiple base a and b it means you cannot implement multiple interfaces sorry multiple classes you can implement or inherit a single class but you cannot do it it is not allowed and let me tell you why it is not allowed right now we have two methods here display and display one which is fine if the multi this type of inheritance is called multiple inheritance means you are inheriting two classes so if you are inheriting two classes a and b suppose it is allowed okay and we are inheriting this but what if we have the same methods in the both classes now we are implementing or inheriting these classes here we are inheriting these both classes here and both classes have display methods now this class will be confused which display method i have to use so to remove this ambiguity c sharp does not allow multiple inheritance so i am just writing here c sharp does not allow multiple inheritance but we can do same but we can do same with interfaces public interface a public interface b it does not matter now you have the same method in two different classes because you haven't defined them so here is not any problem because you have to define these method in the override or oh, sorry in the derived class because of this you can 
allowed or you are allowed to use multiple inheritance in your interface so it is fine with interface so i hope everything is clear to you okay so let's create a separate class for it just for the purpose of understanding uh, public class c a comma b and right here public void a displaying so that is fine so what it is saying c does not implement interface a dot display okay okay i am doing a terrible mistake here it is not a it is display method okay i guess it is fine now so everything is fine now let's create the instance of that c interface so c is interface c obj equals to new c obj dot display so it is how interface works so i'm just uncommenting it and you can also do it like this category category equals to this and it is also fine it will work just fine and when you remove this print method from here and it is not defined inside the interface but it is defined inside here then it is also fine okay but we should not do this more often and let's delete sorry let's uncomment this one and let's do it like this so fine and this was all about interfaces in c sharp why do we need them when they are benefited we also learned about the multiple inheritance why it is not allowed in the c sharp and what are the ways of achieving multiple inheritance in c sharp so that was all for today we will catch up in next video